let's read the question which of the following molecules has permanent dipole moment student for this question we need to know that polar molecules have permanent dipole moment so we have to identify a polar molecule among the given species starting with option 1 co2 student this is a non polar molecule hence the net dipole moment is zero moving to next bf3 student this is also a non polar molecule hence since the net dipole moment is equals to zero moving to next xc f4 student this is also a non polar molecule since the net dipole moment is zero last we have water that is h2o here oxygen has two lone pair the net dipole moment is not equals to zero as a result h2o has permanent dipole moment that means the correct answer for this question is option number 4 moving to next question students which is question number 87 let's read the question which of the following concentration terms depend upon temperature and the given options are molality mole fraction normality and W by W percent that is weight by weight percent. Student, as we all know that volume changes with temperature. So among the given concentration terms, only normality has volume term. That means normality will be temperature dependent, or we can say that normality changes with change in temperature. So the correct answer for this question is option number three. Moving to next question, students, which is question number eighty-eight. Let's read the question. Which of the following is not an electron rich hydride the options are H2O CH4 NH3 HF student first of all we need to understand electron rich hydride electron rich hydrides have excess of electrons which are present as lone pairs among the given options only CH4 is not an electron rich hydride rather it is an electron precise hydride on the other hand H2O NH3 and HF are electron rich hydrides so the correct answer for this question is option number 2 moving to next question students which is question number 89 let's read the question match column 1 with column 2 for the composition of substances and select the correct answer using the code below the list students in this question we are given with two columns in column number 1 we are given with the name of substances and in column 2 we are given with the composition of substances and we have to identify the correct code given below let's start with number 1 plaster of paris student the formula of plaster of paris is caso4 dot half h2o next we have caustic soda the formula of caustic soda is na oh then we have washing soda the formula of washing soda is na2 co3 dot 10 h2o and last we have dead burnt plaster the formula for that is caso4 that means the correct code is represented in option number 3 plaster of paris is number 4 that is a with 4 b with 3 that means caustic soda with number 3 then we have c with 1 that means washing soda with number 1 na2co3.10 h2o and last we have d with 2 that means dead burn plaster with CaSO4. That means the correct answer for this question is option number three. Moving to next question, students, which is question number ninety. Let's read the question. In which of the following equilibrium Kc and Kp are not equal at twenty-five degrees Celsius? Students, in this question, we are given with certain reactions, and we have to identify that in which reaction the value of Kp and Kc are not equal. For that, we need to know the relation between Kp and Kc. I'm writing it. Kp is equals to Kc RT raised to the power delta Ng. So let's see for which reaction the value of delta Ng is not equals to zero. Let's start with option number one. Here the value of delta Ng is zero since delta Ng is equals to number of gaseous products minus number of gaseous reactants. Here the number of gaseous products are two and the number of gaseous reactants are also two. That means the value of delta Ng is zero. Moving to next option. 
here are two gaseous products and two gaseous reactants that means the value of delta ng is again zero moving to third option two hbr gases and h2 gases and hbr2 gases as reactant that means the value of delta ng is again zero moving to the last option two nh3 gases as products and one n2 gases and three h2 gases as reactants that means the value of delta ng is not equals to zero rather it is minus two or we can say that for option number four the value of kp and kc will not be equals to zero rather the value of kp is equals to kc rt raised to the power minus two so the correct answer for this question is option number four that was my last question students hope this quick solution is really helpful for you all the very best